In response to a lot of requests, today I'm going to present four of my favorite side-by-side -side strollers, models specifically designed to maximize comfort and performance when carrying two children, as opposed to tandem models, which make a lot of sacrifices for their convertibility. And by dealing with these specific strollers for years in the workshop, as well as having both used all of them myself and conversing with dozens of patrons and customers, I find that these models provide a pretty ideal spectrum for matching differences in lifestyle and environment. So let's get started then, beginning with the Boogaboo Donkey, which weighs roughly 17 kilos in its twin form, and which, when folded down as compactly as possible, measures 91 by 60 by 24 centimeters. The Donkey is one of the most luxurious and multifunctional side-by-side -side strollers on the market, with its ability to shrink horizontally into mono mode, a smooth easiness that exceeds the majority of other side-by-side -side strollers in terms of combining or swapping between bassinets, car seats, and the model's bucket seats, and its most important feature, the simple fact that its seats are reversible. In terms of longevity, the donkey is sturdy enough to be pushed pretty hard for its first couple years of use, but definitely needs to be handled a bit more carefully if you want it to last longer than this, being particularly susceptible to loosening as a result of the many telescopic points used for horizontal expansion. Nevertheless, the donkey is still my go-to model for parents who need a two-child stroller for all-day, everyday use, in particular without a car, due both to the multifunctionality that I already mentioned and to the fact that the model has excellent terrain capability, making it just as able to handle dirt roads and trails as it is when maneuvering around the city. Next up is the Baby Jogger City Mini GT2 Double, which weighs in at 16 kilos, folds down to 37 by 74 by 80 centimeters, and has seats that, while they're forward-facing only, provide both a full recline and an adjustable leg rest. The GT Double has an easy one-step fold, resulting in a flat, if a little wide, package, and is a convenient choice in my experience for parents that drive a lot and need something that's quick to pop in and out of the trunk. As far as longevity is concerned, the model chassis is relatively simple and sturdy, and, though there are still a couple of areas in the brake system and folding mechanisms that need regular lubrication, my experience in the workshop is that this is one of those models that's a bit more likely to stay in good working order five or six years down the road. When it comes to driving, despite having the smallest wheels of the strollers we'll be looking at today, their 8.5 inches, combined with the model's structural strength and decent suspension, make this model also capable of tackling cobblestones, gravel, and smoother off-road conditions. And in the end, then, the GT Double will make a good choice for parents who need an all-round, daily-use two-seater that's both a bit simpler and more car-friendly than the donkey. Third up is the Mountain Buggy Duet, which clocks in at 14.5 kilos, folds down to 31 by 63 by 89 centimeters, and which has the unique characteristic of being only 63 centimeters wide while still having acceptably proportioned seats, an effect that's been achieved by recessing the rear wheels into the rear frame. Beyond being a tad narrower, the Duet feels a lot like the GT Double, but with a few tweaks that make it a little less oriented towards child comfort and a bit more oriented towards terrain capability, with a little larger, air-filled wheels that increase suspension but mean that you may need to deal with punctures now and then. When it comes to longevity, the overall design of the Duet is quite simple and sturdy, with the only regularly occurring problem being that the secondary dynamic handbrake, as opposed to the primary footbrake, tends to get fiddly and lose effectiveness over time. And the Duet, then, fulfills a similar role to the GT Double, in being a decently compact but fully capable two-seater, with the added characteristic of being an ideal choice for parents living in tighter urban conditions, with smaller than standard doorways, for example, or for those who make use of public transport with limited space. And last up then today is the Urban Glide 2 Double, which weighs 15 kilos and folds down to 87 by 80 by 41 centimeters. The Glide Double is a bit larger than the GT Double or the Duet, providing more in terms of basket space and terrain capability, and, like the Donkey, is more oriented towards use without a car. As far as the seats are concerned, the Glide Double has a full recline, but no adjustable leg rests, and in addition, it's important to note that the angle of the upright position is a little too reclined for some parents, meaning that a seat insert or sit-up strap may be needed if your kid seems uncomfortable. 
Though it's a bit larger, the Glide Double is actually pretty light for its size, which is the result of using a lighter than average alloy for its bars and keeping the model pretty sparse and free of frills, in order to focus almost exclusively on driving performance, which is where the model really shines, with strong suspension, 16-inch rear wheels, and a single 12-inch front wheel that makes it an incredibly terrain-capable two-seater and an ideal choice for hiking, for use in rural places, or in northern environments with rougher winters. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, we ask that you subscribe, as that helps us to continue making videos in the future. In addition, if you are currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find it by following the link in the description. Thank you.